Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to properly clean out an engine bay using zero water. Let's get started. To start off with, we have this BMW. This BMW is a great example because one, it has sand in its engine bay, it lives right by the beach, and what sand causes over time, it can cause corrosion, your metal pieces can deteriorate, as well as your plastic pieces can just turn dull over time. So if you look closely at this engine bay, I just want to show you guys what we're working with. So I already have my tape down the middle because I want to be showing you guys a 50-50 of how an engine bay should be looking like. And I always recommend clean out your engine bay because this is one of the pieces of your car that you actually forget to clean out the most because you hardly look at your engine bay unless you keep popping it up at car meets. So using this method, you could pop your hood at car meets with confidence and your engine bay will look, be looking its best. So to start off with, I have my glove on here and just check out how dirty this engine bay is. This is sand mixed with contamination with dirt. So today we're gonna be using Nonsense Super Cleaner. Nonsense Super Cleaner is an all-purpose cleaner that can be used around your whole entire vehicle. And you could also use it as like a waterless wash, just decontamination process. So before using it, I'll just spray onto the surface. So I'll give it a couple sprays on it. And then immediately I will let it sit on there just so I could allow it to penetrate the dirt or dust. I'll put my nonsense back. And now with the boar's hair detailing brush, I will go to the area I sprayed on and I'll just agitate it. By causing this agitation process, you guys can see immediately nonsense starts to foam up. The reason why it starts to foam up is because the cleaner is penetrating deep into the dust and dirt and it's going to help me lift it off. If you need more, apply more. Be very generous whenever you clean your engine bay because you need to keep this in mind. Your engine bay goes through wear and tear every single day whenever you're driving. Excuse if my 50-50 line does not stay. When I tried to lay down the tape, it was a little bit difficult because the dust does not let it stick. So I'll put my boar's hair brush to the side. I'll grab a premium microfiber towel. I will wipe in one direction, and you guys can see how much dust is coming off of it. So let me just do my best at removing it without harming the 50-50. And you guys can see all of that is just filth sitting on this plastic engine bay piece on this BMW, and it's deceiving the look of it. So if the owner was to pop open his hood, he won't be so confident because his engine bay is filthy. So I'll, clean, I'll flip over to the clean side, just buff it off. Make sure nonsense is completely off. And you guys can see the big difference by just cleaning up the plastic pieces on this engine bay. The engine bay now looks much better compared to that side. That side is dull, neglected. This side can still use more TLC, time, love, and care. But and like I was saying, nonsense super cleaner can be used anywhere. So if you have plastic pieces, you can use on plastic pieces. Just spray and you'll scrub. And like this, if you don't have access to water, if you do not know what pieces on your engine bay are waterproof. You can save time, you can save headaches by just using Nonsense Super Cleaner and just clean up your engine bay. If you guys would like to see an engine bay clean with water, just drop a comment down below. I will make sure I do a whole series on how to clean an engine bay with water. And I'll show you guys what components can be used with water and what components cannot be used with water. So just bear with me. Let me just clean up the rest of this side of this engine bay using Nonsense Super Cleaner. And once I am done, I'll be showing you guys how to probably apply a dressing on your engine bay to make it look its best. Let's get started. Alright guys, so a quick pro tip, so just in case if you get nonsense on an area where you can't reach with your hand, this is the perfect time to use the Pro Blow. The Pro Blow is a blower that's going to blow out the nonsense out of the hard to reach areas and like this you just wipe it off. So all you need to do, you just go to an area where nonsense is stuck, you turn on your blower, it blows it away and now the surface is clean. So just like that, my hand couldn't fit under there in that tight area, but the Pro Blow saved my life by just blowing it away and like this. We're gonna keep going with the cleaning process and I'll show you guys once I'm done with nonsense.
All right, guys, so we just finished cleaning up the plastic pieces, the rubber hoses, the hard reach areas using Nonsense Super Cleaner. But now it is time to protect our work, enhance the shine, and make the engine bay look its best using black on black. So black on black is an oil-based aerosol dressing that one, it's going to enhance the shine on the plastic pieces, but nonetheless, it's also going to protect it. Because keep this in mind, this BMW lives right by the beach. I want the owner to have a nice engine bay for a long time. So like this, I'll be protecting it using black on black. So how to use black on black? Before you use it, just shake it up. It's an aerosol dressing that it's going to help you get into the hard reach areas. So if I go to this area, excuse me, if I get overspray on the dirty side, I'm doing my best. Uh, this tape does not stick because the dirt side is not letting it stick. So all you need to do is just treat it side to side, you lightly missed it, and immediately you guys can see a big before and after that. Black on black is leaving an amazing shine, an amazing reflection on this plastic piece. So let me just do my best to do this line. You don't want to oversaturate the air. You don't want to just go on one single air, just shh. You don't want to do that. You want to take it lightly, just back and forth, missed it on the plastic pieces, and black on black is going to penetrate deep into the pores of the plastic pieces and restore an amazing shine. So once you are done, you could let it either sit on the surface and let it dry because once black on black dries, it's not going to accumulate dust. But I just wanna show you guys the 50-50 that I achieved by using black on black and nonsense combo. So you guys can see a big before and after. The left side is completely neglected compared to the right side. The right side is now protected. It is now shiny. And this is how the owner picked it up from the dealership. So let me just finish up doing the rest of this engine bay. And then once I'm done protecting it and enhancing the shine with black on black, I will be sharing my results with you. So maybe you could do this at home and you can enhance your shine and reflection on your engine bay. Let's get started. All right guys, so I just finished working in the black on black onto the plastic pieces, but I noticed I had residue left behind. So a quick pro tip for you guys, if you want to speed up the process of its drying, just grab a clean microfiber towel, go to the area you want to buff off, you wipe in one direction, and just like that, you dry black on black, and black on black is now dry. It's not going to accumulate dust. It gave you more of that matte finish. So just take a clean microfiber towel, just buff it right off, and you're really ready to go. Close the trunk, close the hood, I mean and just drive away. But I, I forgot to remove these tapes for you guys so you guys can see the 50-50 and check out that crazy before and after. I mean, there's a big night and day difference. The results are tremendous and keep this in mind, I use zero water so I don't have any running water. I did this all waterless. The engine bay now looks clean, now looks new. It looks how he just picked it up from the dealership. The owner's going to be super happy because He's the type of person that never pops his hood and whenever he does, he says, forget it. It's just an engine bay, no one looks at it. But you can't have that mindset. You need to keep this in mind. Your car is your investment. So maintain your investment clean with chemical guys. Chemical guys will bring any type of shine to it, whether it's your interior, your exterior, your undercarriage, your engine bay. We will help you restore your shine or keep your shine. So guys, as always, if you guys liked this video today, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. If you want to pick up any of these products today, you can hop on our website right now, chemicalguys.com. Or you can stop by your local detour garage and pick them up there. I'm Henry, and I'll see you guys next time right here at the Camuas Detour Garage.